It's December 11th, 2013, and I ended up getting my package today in the mail. And look where it came from. Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Spectrum Techno Techniques. Oak Ridge, Tennessee. You know where that's... You pretty much know what I got then. And it gets delivered in this box through the post office. I would really hate to be a postman delivering this, but here it is. So it's still in the box. I'm going to put the Geiger counter right on top of it. There you go. There's usually background. There's 30 CPMs. audio on. I guess the box is shielding some, so we'll open it up and see what's inside of it, but I'll show you on the chart here. Alright, there she blows. There's the real McCoy. Cesium-137. I needed to buy this to calibrate my Gamma Spectacular, so I'm about standing about a foot away from it, and it's, and it's picking it up. So I'm going to do a little test here within, these are lead, lead casings, lead shields, so they're also being protected. So let's do a quick reading here to see what we get through the lead shield. Let's start the Geiger counter. Immediately it's, uh, it's about peaking at about 38 CPMs. So we're going to do a 100 minute test on this and then open those bad boys up and do another test and then put them back in and put them away. Then I got to calibrate. It's kicking at about 1500 CPMs and that's with the lead shield. So I can't wait for this experiment to be over with. December 11, 2013, and this is the test on the cesium calibration coin. This is shielded though, lead shielded, 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, and I've got 151,731 counts. Max data point was 46. Minimum data point is 10. Average data point, 25.29. And this is cesium-137, what it's going to look like on my radiation alert observer software. So let's do a reading outside of the... Uh... Man, is that thing going? And it was just placed on this lead shielded cesium-137. December 11th, 2013, and this is the test on a cesium-137 coin for calibration. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds. I got 528,000. 420 total counts. Max data point was 133. 
Minimum data point is 57. Average data point is 88.07. So that's the real McCoy cesium-137 coin for calibration. Let's put some sound on it. All right, there's the chip. It's about two feet away from said Geiger counter. So I'm not really picking it up, and I'm going to end up going closer to it to show you how it picks it up. There's the Geiger counter. I put it right on top of it. Now this is without the lead shield and it's going nuts. Let's get this thing going and see what it peaks at. December 11, 2013, and this is the background reading for the cesium source, 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, and that's 2,888 counts, 5 is the max data point, point forty-eight is the average data point, total typical for the birds of Cleveland, Ohio. My conclusion on the cesium-137 source coin is that this is definitely the real McCoy. It's bought from Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and I bought it to calibrate the Gamma Spectacular, so I could use that to start identifying isotopes, whether it's in food or whatever, to take it the next step further. And once I'm done calibrating, I'm going to keep this in its lead shield in a box marked, warned, and definitely put uh, either in the barn or in the garage. Definitely not going to store it inside the house. At over 5,000 CPMs, this cesium-137 source coin is really has some energy uh, output over there. So I'm going to uh, handle it with care and store it away and try not to come in contact with it unless I need be. Background, cesium-137. Background, cesium-137. Background, cesium-137. Background, cesium-137.